Welcome to activity one, sessions one and two a little easier. In this activity, we're going to be counting from one to five. To do this, we need two players. I'm Narelle, the green player, and on the other side is Karis, my daughter. I'm the blue player. Yay. Now, Karis, we're going to work together to fill the set of steps starting with the shortest row, these spaces going across are called rows, and filling down to the longest row. Because you're the blue player, can you do the first mm -hmm. one? And I'm the green player, so I can see two. Got three. Now, four, one, two, three, four. I can check. Good. Now I need five. One, two, three, four, five. Great. And we'll put our spares away. We don't need them. Today, when we count, we're not going one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go very slow, which makes it a bit trickier. We're going to do it like this. We put our finger on the um, first cube and say one. We move it down to the next row. And we slide it all the way across and say two when we're at the end of that row. We start on the next row on the first cube, run our finger along the whole row and say three. Start at the beginning, four, five. The reason we say the counting number on the last cube is when we say the number five, that means that the whole row is worth five. The reason we say five on the end is because when we count one, two, three, four, five, the last number we say tells us how many in the whole row. Karis, can you go first? Mm -hmm. One, starting at this side, sliding my finger all the way along. Two, three, four, five. Well done. Now it's my turn. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's your turn to take turns counting the steps. Karis, we wanted to make this a little harder. We could take turns. Can you say the first one? One. I'll do the next row. Two. Three. 